So they beat him to a bloody pulp until his flesh was hanging in shreds. It should have been me, but he was whipped and beaten in my place. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole battalion before them and they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and put a reed in his hand and kneeling before him, they mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes back on him and led him away to crucify him. It, it, it should have been me, but he was mocked and humiliated in my place. They placed a cross beam on his shoulder that weighed as much as a hundred pounds. And because of the brutal beating he had took and his flesh hanging and the blood loss, he, he needed help to carry it because he couldn't do it on his own. I should have been the one carrying the cross, but he carried the cross yes. in my place. Yes. And when it came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they laid him on the cross and they drove six to eight inch nails into each of his hands and his feet. I was supposed to be nailed to the cross, but he was nailed to the cross in my place. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Ile, Ile, lama sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The sinner like me is the one who is supposed to experience being utterly forsaken by God. The sinner is the one who is supposed to feel utterly abandoned by God. Ezekiel 18 and 20 says that the soul that sinneth, it shall surely die. Paul says the wages of sin is death. The sinner should be the one forsaken on that cross, but Jesus was forsaken in my place. Amen. The Bible says he was despised and rejected. A man of sorrow acquainted with grief. Born, he, he bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. He was stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. The Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted. He was a lamb that was led to slaughter and it was the will of God to crush him. I should have been crushed but God crushed him in my place. And while he hung there on that cross it, 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 it was him taking his last breath and he said these words, it is finished. He hung his head and he gave up his spirit. It should have been me. It should have been you. It should have been you. But Jesus died in our place. We were all bad guys deserving death, the grave and eternal punishment in hell. But Jesus died in our place. We were all toe up from the floor up. But Jesus died in our place. Yeah. We were all sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But Jesus died in our place. We were all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in sin. But Jesus died in our place. We were all helpless, hopeless, and being held hostage by sin. But Jesus died in our place. Listen, if you didn't get excited about this, maybe you'll get excited about the word of God. God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. You know what that means? Jesus died in your place. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sins and live for righteousness because by his wounds we have been healed. Yes. Jesus died in our place. Yes, thank you. Lord. It is It is this truth that led Isaac Watts in 1707 to write the words of that great hymn that testifies, Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for sinners such as I? 
was it for crimes that I had done. He died upon that tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Maybe there's someone in here tonight who's just like Barabbas or just like Ken in real life. And you are a sinner in need of a savior. You are a mess. You are a wreck. You have done things or, uh, uh, that you know is sin. Your life has been marked by one failure after another. Blown it. You tore up from the floor. You wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in sin. You may be in here tonight. And you have yet to call on the name of the Lord. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. From the penalty of death, hell, and the grave. Yes. Jesus died in your place. You don't have to die in your sins. Jesus came to rescue you. Lead me to the cross.